Hey guys, John here from Titan, and it's another segment of health tips that are going to benefit you to hopefully get results in what you're trying to do with your figure, your physique, or just being healthy. So let's talk about it. Most of the time, I get two questions. The first question is, and this is a really, really popular one, is, John, how do I lose weight? So that's the first one, and that's a really popular one, like I said. The second one is, is how do I gain muscle, okay? So, you know, there's a lot of different things that go into this, from training, therapies, or supplementation, sleeping, but let's talk about one of the most important, and that's your nutrition. So, nutrition is definitely a high priority in your life. What we eat uh, is basically what we are. You know that old saying, what you are what you eat, and that is a true statement. Okay, so let's go further into this. So, when we talk about that, we want to look at what we're eating. First, the food sources. And I've had another segment, or you'll probably see it very soon, about how to look for good food sources and how to read labels, okay? The second one is, is how are you eating, like proportionate wise? Like, are you doing a macro count? You know, that funny or saying out there, counting macros? Well, macro is a macronutrient. That's what it stands for. And macros are broken down in three different categories. One is protein, the other is carbohydrates, and then we have fats. And we start looking at it. So how do I count macros, John? All right, I know, you know, we have carbohydrates, which carbohydrates come in a number of different forms. It could be uh, simple, you know, carbohydrates, like brown sugar or sugar, or it could be complex, like rice or potatoes. Um, and then we look at proteins. So our protein sources, we look at beef, we look at poultry, you know, all these different meats out there. That's a good source for protein. There's other protein from different things. I know people are plant-based and stuff like that. That could be a good uh, substitute if that's the way you want to go. Then we look at fats. So fats, where do you get fats from? So, you know, some, some oils out there, some good oils out there, avocados, nuts and seeds. You know, stuff like that is good fats. Uh, even fish, uh, that's another good one. The body needs these things for a reason. We need energy because that's what we're doing all day. We're moving, we're trying to, you know, the body was made to move, to do things. So it needs this energy. And we wanna break down the proper amount of macronutrients or macros that are gonna fulfill your desired result and whatever your goal is. So let's look at it. They're always in percentages usually. And those percentages are, you know, broken down and majority of the people that are trying to lose weight, it's like 40% proteins, 30% uh, carbohydrates. Um, and at that point, you know, it can be broken down all different ways. Your fats could be a 25% or 30% or whatever it may be. I'm just giving you examples here of what to go by. And there's macro calculators out there that you can find online that you just plug in what you're eating per day. You can keep count of these calories. Now, what you know? What is protein? How many calories is that? How many carbohydrates? How much is fats? So we look at that. So the calorie count for protein is four calories per gram of protein. It's also four calories per gram of carbohydrates. Now it goes up to fat, nine calories per gram. So you look at all this, and at that point you want to make it simplified. So count your macros. So how many grams of food you are having, and you're breaking down. And usually a label list is on the back or the ingredients, you can do that. Um, if it's like an eight ounce chicken breast or a steak may maybe, you can look that up online and see exactly what it is. And there's some good apps out there too that you can keep track of your food. You'll just have to log it in. Some of those already have everything logged in from KFC chicken to you know a, a, an eight ounce grilled chicken breast, okay? And when you start adding different seasonings on it, or maybe some sauces, you have to you have to add that in because that's what you're intaking too. So make sure you're getting the breakdown of all that, and try to stay away from that. Keep it simple. Keep it light seasonings, okay? The fresher the seasonings ingredients, the better it is for your body. Non-processed foods. We want to stay away from the processed foods. The more processed it is, the worse it is for you, okay? And usually that's longer shelf life for items, so you don't want to do that. So you also want to break down, how do I do this? So we look at a total calorie count 
for males and females. And I'm giving examples because everybody's different. So, but these are the baselines, okay? So we're talking about 2,000 calories for a female. And we're talking about 2,500 calories for a male. And you want to break down those calories, like I said. So you're breaking down how many grams of protein did you intake? So if it was eight grams, you know, it was 32, uh, 32 calories right there. So you're intaking what you know, and you're counting these things. Like I said, you can keep it, keep it simple, keep it easy with an app and make sure you are on point with what you're intaking. Now you can meal prep your food, buy that calorie count, know exactly what it is. You can like, for me, I would, I would make eight, 10 ounce, uh, filet mignons or steaks. Uh, you can do 10 chicken breasts and they're all the same. You can weigh them out. You know exactly what they are and that's what it is. So you can break it down and make it real simple, real easy. But this is something that get at, it gets asked a lot. So the protein factor. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, you can go low on the protein. If you're trying to gain muscle, you're trying to add more protein in there. You got to protect the muscle because what happens is, is energy comes in your body, carbohydrates, right? And that energy is to move the body, right? To work the body and work the functions of the body. What happens if, let's say, you're sitting on the couch all day, so you're not using a lot of energy, and the excess food that you're intaking out of these things is going to store in the body as fat, and the way that you get this fat off, okay? Now, eating a lesser calorie count can help, but it's really burning through that energy, and then your, your body has to go to that storage of fat to burn for more energy. So that's really where you get the weight loss effect, okay? And it's pretty simple and pretty easy when you st start thinking about it like that. Okay, well, I have to do more activity that I'm intaking in as far as energy. It's in and out. Now, calories count as far as different foods, if it's good foods or bad foods. Like I said, an eight ounce chicken breast to a quarter pounder with cheese is gonna be a little bit different as far as what you're intaking calories nutrition wise. So make sure that you're picking good food sources. I can't stress that enough. Um, and a, a calorie deficit, definitely way to go and being uh, or doing more activity to make sure you're burning through those calories. And then you can intake properly your macro count of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. I'm going to have more of these segments for you guys. Please let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them or maybe throw them in the segment for you guys. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this or any more of our therapies that we offer that can help you along with this journey, please call or text 727-389-3220 and always check out the website www.tightmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate it, guys. And stay tuned for more segments like this. Bye.